good morning everybody welcome to the channel if you haven't been here before welcome back if you're a repeat customer um, i'm in floki today our little uh 16 ton uh, uh 16 ton your dam i'm headed to paducah to go pick up a uh old 90s model used to be a u-haul box truck uh, just a quick simple tow today, nothing crazy. Uh, I'm having, uh, I'm trying to, as far as the, the channel goes, I'm trying to find a, a way to try and post every couple of days. The last few calls we've had, we've been busy, but the last bunch of calls I've had are calls that I can't record either. You know, they didn't give me consent to record or uh, it's a major incident that, uh, hard to cover up company uh, names and stuff because they're just so big on the trucks or whatever the deal is. Um, so that's why it's been a little while. It's been like a week or so since I've been able to get one posted. So um, I'm trying to get a like a backlog of videos edited and made up. So when I have situations like this, I can still get a video out uh, every three to you know three to five days is what I'd like to do it. Um, I also have a hard time just waiting and waiting for the video to post and not just whoop, here you go, here's the video every time I get one done. So, um, anyway, there's that. Like I said, I'm headed out to Paducah. The first time I'm going to grab lunch, but then I'm headed to Paducah. Uh, it's a pretty nice day today. It's, I don't know, in the 80s. Uh, humidity's down. We just had a big rainstorm coming last night. Um, so, humidity's down right now. It's not miserable today. Um, it has been for the last weeks, I don't know, probably a month or two months. Uh, it's been pretty hot, very humid. I know yesterday it was like 88 or something like that was the high, but the heat index was almost at 100. It was ridiculous. So the humidity has been crazy. But like I said, we're in Floki. Um, I don't know if we'll fork this one or, or, or grab the bus bars. We'll see how I feel when I get there. The bus bars are on the truck. Um, and I like Jordan style bus bars. Uh, so we may just bus bar this truck. I don't know. We'll see how I feel in the off scene. But uh, until then, I'm going to focus on driving. I'm going to get there. And uh, we'll see you when we get there. We made it here. Here's the absolute gem of a unit we've got to tow today. Old U-Haul box truck. A little bit of damage in the siding. She's a little, little old, a little tired. But uh, shouldn't be nothing too crazy. Box is down. Got to secure that in. Ooh, maybe. You gotta strap that or something. No biggie though. She's an absolute unit. All right, and then for our hookup method today, there's a bunch of different ways we could have done this. But today, I chose to use spring hangers. I could have forked the axle, I could have left the bus bars on. Today we're gonna go with spring hangers. I don't get the opportunity to use them a whole bunch. Um, I'm not the most experienced operator at using them, but I think I'll learn sometime, right? So today's the day. I chose to break them out. I'm gonna get them chained down here real quick. And then uh, we got a full drive shaft, throw a tow light on, safety chains, and skedaddle on out of here. So here we go.
Oh, come on. There we go. Got our chain down. Next, let's go ahead and pop this old girl in neutral. She's in good shape. So we've got a set of keys right here on the seat. Bungee cord on that excess there. All right. Let's check the drive shaft. I bet we need a 3 8 on it. been in there a little while. You like my pry bar? It's gonna adapt and overcome. Something down, I didn't look at where I dropped them off. Oh, there it is, right in front of my face. Got it. All right, tools. Please go.
here. Put my tools away. Oh. I need more hands for film like this. Alright, there's that. I gotta throw safety chains. I'll go ahead and knock that out real quick. There we go, safety chains are on. Wrapped around the axle. You gotta go to a different point than you grabbed. So since I grabbed the leaf spring, my safety chains cannot uh, attach to the leaf spring, which is where I normally would attach them. There's no other good point, so to the axle we went. Now I just gotta throw my tow light on and get the heck out of here. So thank you guys for watching. I said it wasn't that hot. It's really not, it's not really humid, it's still hot. But, uh, yeah, that's about it. So I'm going to throw my tow light on and get this thing pulled up, double check everything because uh, it's in the weeds. Couldn't really check the tires and stuff that good. So uh, that's the end of that. Okay, so I'm about 10 minutes up the road uh, from where I picked up. I've stopped here. I'm on, the, I'm on an off-ramp. Well, actually, I'm an on-ramp. And uh, what I stopped here to do was to double check everything double check everything and make sure that all my stuff is still tight because I like I said I don't use spring hangers often um, so it's one of those things I want to make sure I'm gonna stop before I get too far down the road and uh, make sure that my securement is right um, that it's holding tight let everything settle a little bit so we're checking it here it is all still completely tight um, so no worries there that's all doing good I said you know like I said I was gonna bungee tarp that stuff up I did a bungee support on it uh, a couple things I didn't show you is this battery is not secured in there. So I went ahead and secured it. Um, I did check this hood strap. It was closed. Um, and then, uh, of course, I'm checking my, make sure everything back here is working. Uh, make sure I got good clearance, which I do. And then I went ahead and put a bungee on that door, uh, that door handle, because it wanted to spring back up. So there we go, guys. That's uh, officially the end of it. One thing I didn't wanted to check also was I didn't check the parking brake which I made it this far lol where is the parking brake uh, I guess I didn't check it because it doesn't have one so usually there's a pedal or a handle or something on these and there isn't one so cool bold move cotton but to each their own all right that's it uh, and of course it's a it's not an air ride truck so it doesn't have air brakes it's definitely hydraulic brake yep and then uh, let's double check the rear yep rear's also hydraulic brake uh there's a parking brake on the drive line so all right i'm not worried about it then because it's got a drive shaft brake on it so if it's set or not, it doesn't matter because the transmission's in neutral and the drive shaft's removed. So, whatever the lever is for it, somebody else is worried. Not mine. But, there we go. I'm going to get this thing to the customer. Thank you for watching.